Okay, I've come out for half an hour um, just to start warming up with the HMR. I've not used it for a few weeks now. I've done, I've done a video since last year, so I thought I'd do a bit of filming as well. Uh, nothing too far. I don't want to do anything too close either. It's just not sporting. Um, so I'm looking for sort of 150 to 200 that sort of distance. Okay, enjoy. Look at rabbit at 170 yards. Okay, 173. Okay, I've got a crow coming back to the rabbit I shot earlier. I'm going to see if I can get it. Believe it or not, that crow took off and has just crash landed into the ground. So I'm not quite sure where I hit that. Okay, probably just rushed that a little bit. Uh, it's down there somewhere though. My battery's about to go. I might have to go onto my iPhone to film it. Okay, the crow's landed down here somewhere. It's just sort of cartwheeled out of the sky. So I'm guessing maybe it's a long shot. Oh, in fact, yeah, I can see it on the other side, in the centre of the picture. Yeah, long shot, okay. Most animals, when you long shoot them, they, they just get just enough time to get off, okay. Good condition that crow as well. Okay, and there's the there's the rabbit. The crow's also been pulling its guts at its guts, and it looks like it's gone for that bullet hole. But you can see straight off, first thing it's gone for is the eyes. Okay, they always like the eyes. Okay, and it's gone for the eyes both sides, so it's it's pulled that about a little bit. Still be okay for bait though. Okay, and that was the other rabbit I shot. Again, the crow's gone for his eyes. But if you have a look, he didn't like that one.
Okay, so a little bit of a warm up with the 17, start of the Wabbit season. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Nothing too far, nothing too close. Uh, and that's the start of a few more videos I'll be doing this year.